This is Sherry. We are from Donghai. Donghai is our fa fa factory name. Uh, our factory located in Jiaxin City, Zhejiang Province. Our factory was a modern manufacturer which had which had been concentrated over 25 years on the development of home appliance elements. Uh, today, uh, we are going to introduce cattle parts to you. I think every family has cattle at home. We are very, very familiar with the cattle, but you may don't know the components of them. We will introduce for you. Yes. At the beginning of our factory development, we supply big quantity uh, cattle parts to Super. Mm -hmm. Super is a leading brand of small kitchen anime appliance in China. It's very popular. Yeah. Until now, we supply them the cat parts 30,000 pieces per day. Yes, in my home there are some uh, uh, kitchen appliances is used by super, used yes. wrong, yeah. And uh, now we are going to introduce the details for the cattle parts and uh, uh, let's have a close look at our example. So uh, now there is our examples on the table and the first one I will show you is uh, this one. And uh, from this one, you, you see they are mainly have three parts, uh, the, ca the heating elements, and then the heating elements, and the aluminum plate, and the stainless steel. And uh, you made inches, how, them, how the three parts get together, uh, because you cannot see any uh, welding mark on it, right? And uh, for the welding, we have our uh, technologies, and we use the uh, furnace, annealing furnace to uh, weld for the welding. Uh, uh, for the welding, our workers will put the three parts together and then put the rolling belt of the furnace and then it will get into the uh, furnace for some, for some time with high temperature and then it will get out of the uh, furnace. It looks very, seems very simp uh, simple, but we have started, we have spent many years to study uh, this uh, technology. And now you can see uh, we have a wonderful uh, welding technology and you can see by the uh, by eye. And uh, for the, after the welding. Yes, in this process, uh, we, as, as, as Sherry mentioned, the annealing furnace, uh, we, we have se seven sets of a kneading furnace, so yes. we can satisfy the big quantity production. Yes, the annealing is very, um, very high technology machine, and uh, um, the we have seven sets of it. And um, yes, except the the above mentioned, what's so special for our cattle? For our cattle, um, the material I'd like to introduce. For the material, you can see the the surface. <coughs> It's a very good uh, stainless steel. It's not, uh, it's not a uh, normal uh, 304. It's one kind of special full grade uh, 304. And uh, if you uh, use our cattle, you may, uh, you may, uh, you may find we, we, after four or five years, and you cannot see any rust or any mark on it. So uh, the grade of our stainless steel is very good. And this is not a special one. We found many years to study it. And uh, for, uh, for the stainless, and um, for the stainless steel, there are many kinds of stainless steel, you know. Uh, in the market, there are 304, uh, Incloid, uh, 202, there are many kinds and how we can, how we uh, recognize it, um, because we cannot see by eyes. Uh, there is one way uh, we can uh, we can test it. It's very very easy. Uh, here I'd like to introduce uh, a story together. 
Um, in the last Canton Fair, in uh, last year of the Canton Fair in October, and uh, one of customer come from Turkey. They take uh, they take a capital base. They take a coffee machine base to uh, ask for the price. Is here. This is the cattle. Uh, is the is the base they they take at the Canton Fair, and they ask the price aside, and uh, we offer the price. And he comparing the price with other supplier, and he said the our price is little is a little higher. Uh, but analyzing, uh, we ask we uh, we analyzing because we calculate the price very careful, and we think our price is very competitive. Uh, we think it's not. Uh, we ask the we ask what material the other supplier give to him, and he said is 304. But uh, we think it's not impossible, and we take the uh, reagent to test it on site, and then we found it's not the 304, it's 3, it's 202. So uh, he's is a very surprised, and then uh, you can you can uh, guess the uh, ending of this story. He began one of our customer, and now uh, our and now the capacity is very big uh, for for him. Yes, Sherry mentioned the mental reagent. Yes, this is very, um, very popular uh, reagent that to uh, test the uh, stainless steel um, very fast. Uh, just with some drops um, reagent on the stainless steel, and it will show different color within one or two minutes. And uh, you can compare the color table, and then you will uh, find which type of the uh, stainless steel it belongs to. And also, uh, we have a very uh, good technology to, to make the, to manufacture, to make the, uh, the surface. You can see this one is the, is the mirror polishing, and this one is the, is the sand polishing. The, for the mirror one, you can uh, take it for makeup, so it's a very nice surface. Yes, both of them use the punching process, but they have the same affection. Yes, many customers ask the question, what's the difference with, uh, with the two polishing? Uh, it, it's the same, they are the same, but the different customer have different uh, requirements and uh, they they need different looking on the product. Yes, it depends on which surface uh, you prefer to, or yeah. what you have just got on user to. Yes, and not only the uh, kettle base, coffee machine base, and we also can make the soybean milk machine base also. And um, um, also you have other requirement on the base, you can tell us And uh, uh, based on the good uh, experience to make the base part, and uh, we expand our products. Now you can see this one, and we made the base with the barrel together. Uh, from this this example, and uh, you you also don't you also uh, it's harder to uh, look it's harder to uh, find the uh, welding mark. You can see. Not cannot see it, so uh, you may interest how we uh, made them together with the base and the barrel. Uh, the technology is sent with the base and just put in the uh, put in the annealing furnace for the welding. But uh, but it is also different with the base part because uh, it will. Uh, have different uh, details for the technology. Uh, no matter, you can see uh, we can make the base and the barrel and the base with the barrel together, and also the different uh, different shapes of the uh, stainless steel. So we make all these uh, stainless steel uh, shapes uh, from the stainless steel belt, and uh, all the stretching, cutting and shaping and punching and all by ourselves in our factory. 
Yes, we have all your pressure machine 98 set, coil machine 174 set, CNC machine 50 set, and so on. Furnishing equipped can meet the requirement of mass production. Factor, our factory is strictly managed according to ISO 9001 and ISO 4000 from design, manufacturing, sales, service, and all of the process to ensure the excellent quality. And our capacity for the base with barrel is 5,000 pieces per day. Yeah. And uh, we have a long history to, on the manufacturing the cattle parts. And our daily capacity, capa capacity is reached 40,000 pieces per day. And our capa capacity is very large. In this case, we are uh, allocating the, uh, the material purchasing cost, management cost, and the labor cost to each product. And the raw and the uh, unit price uh, will competitively competitive accordingly. So with the good price and a good quality, and uh, our price performance uh, radi uh, ratio is high. Our capital parts are competitive in the world's market. And so that's why uh, Super chose us. And also uh, we have a big customer and uh, Tifa, and this is their product. And uh, not only we can make the, uh, the cattle parts and uh, uh, coffee machine parts, and also we can supply you the, uh, the, the, ca uh, the thermostat for the cattle. For the thermostat, we have, the, um, we have this. You can see this is the KSD uh, thermostat. Uh, for this KSD, we can make the maximum uh, temperature to 260 degrees centigrade. Yes, and, yeah. we, uh, we also supply the cattle small starch as well. Like this. We have many standard types which can meet different requirements. You may know the big brand of chess. But our cattle small starch are also competitive besides on our quantity and price. And about the certificate, we got the approval of CQC, TUVC, CCC. Yes, and uh, you can see we can uh, supply the cattle parts, cattle uh, in the thermostat, and it's very convenient for us to supply the, all these parts for the cattle. Okay. So after our introduction of the cattle and the coffee machine base, and you have knowledge of our, our uh, quantity, uh, also our, our technology of the polishing and the welding, I think you interest it because we have very, our, our, our product is very popular in the world market. And uh, uh, you may uh, have many questions. And now I will collect some questions. And uh, and then I will reply you one by one after one minute.
and uh, uh, I collect some question and then also I uh, uh, there are some uh, customer here and uh, welcome you and uh, Mr. Uh, Mandar Diaz and uh, who man and uh, who man and uh, Muhad man <laughs> how are you uh, thank welcome. you for uh, coming to our broadcast room and uh, we are very glad to see you here and if you have any question please contact with us and we will reply you one by one and also I collect some uh, question from other customer and uh, now I will reply one by one and the first one is is there any certificate for the cattle base? Um, uh, for the cattle base, uh, they don't need a, a certificate. Uh, only the uh, only the uh, somos that need. And uh, the second question is, where is your market for the cattle base? Uh, our market for the cattle base is very large, and uh, uh, from Turkey, Egypt, America, Iran, and uh, Australia, and so on because our quality is very, very good. So it's very popular. And if you inch it, just um, uh, we can send you a sample for, uh, for your checking. And the third question is how to get the price of the cattle base. Uh, for the cattle base, uh, it's not a standard, pro it's not a standard uh, product. And uh, we need your technical drawing or sample to uh, call, call the uh, price to you. And the next question is uh, how um, the lifetime of the cattle thermostat. For the lifetime for the cattle uh, thermostat, uh, we uh, we have the lifetime more than ten thousand times. And the next one is um, what a certificate do. Uh, do you have for the cattle thermostat? Uh, for the cattle thermostat, we have the uh, CE, TV, uh, TV, uh, CCC, VD, and uh, uh, and uh, I think many customer uh, interest in our thermostat. Our thermostat is also very popular. Now we are going to uh, cooperate with uh, uh, Philips. Okay, I think there are many questions, but now the time is limited, and uh, I will uh, we will collect we will collect the question and uh, reply you one by one, and the next show will be uh, in the Chinese time in seven uh, uh, seven o'clock p.m. and uh, welcome to uh, watching us. Thank you. Bye bye.